Hello. Today we're going to make a faux shutter card. It's called either that or I've seen it called a fracture or fractured with a D on it um, card. So a fracture, fractured, or faux shutter card. Okay. And it just because it looks like it looks like a camera view. Alrighty. So and I'm there's so many different ways you can do this, but I found the easiest way, and you don't need any dies, you don't need any punches. All you need is scrap paper, and you you do need a a regular whatever card you want, and then you want a layer. So this is the layer that I've chosen, and thank you, Sue Holland. You made this beautiful paper, and I'm going to show it off with this card. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down. And yes, your name is on the back here, so I remember who made this beautiful paper for me. All righty, so we'll put this down. Give a little back rub. Okay, now depending on what color your card is, my card is a white card on here, so I used a white middle. So I've got a white card again, so I've got a white middle. And it doesn't matter what size you use, I've used, this one is a one and a half inch square, this one is a two inch square. Okay, I just wanna show you the difference. These, these strips are a quarter of an inch wide, these are an eighth of an inch wide. So I just wanted to show you a little bit different, okay? So let's go ahead and glue this one down. And you're gonna do it like a, a diamond. So from top to bottom, point to point, and side to side, point to point. Okay, make sure that's glued down. Very good. Now, all we have to do now is start gluing this down. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave a slight border around. So, and then we're gonna connect it together. So I think I'm gonna need this one right here. All righty. So I'm gonna cut a piece. The very first one, I'm gonna leave it a little bit long and I'm just gonna tape it in place. And then after that, and you'll see, because that, that way at the end, you can make sure it's connected just perfectly because you want the, the two corners to connect together. All right, so I'm just gonna tape this down in place for now. All right, and now I'm just gonna finish by going ahead and gluing around. So I need to put some glue on this one. Just a thin line of glue. And I'm gonna go from this piece of paper, leaving the border here. I'm gonna butt this up against this piece of paper. And then I'm gonna glue it down all the way to the end of the card. So all the way over here. So I need to get this, some more glue on this end. Okay. Then we can turn it over and snip that off. There we go. Then we can go ahead and we can glue this one. And we want to glue it from there all the way up to this edge. So we want it about that long. So we'll put the glue on it from there all the way to the very tippity tip. There we go. We're going to butt this one up against this one. There, hold it in place. Try to get it the same amount distance, going all the way around. Okay, need a little, oh, I did have enough glue up there on the end, okay. Then I'm gonna snip that, eight, that end off. Oops, hold that down. And this, I'm just, this is actually quilling paper. I bought a couple packs of quilling paper and I've been using it on my cards. I've been having so much fun with it. All right, so this needs to be, cut straight. This one needs to go from here and put it up against there and all the way across to here. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and add that glue down from here all the way down to the very tip. Alrighty, and we're going to put this up against that one, leaving that about an eighth or it's actually about a sixteenth of an inch around. Okay, we're gonna move this one out of the way now because we don't need that. Okay, and that needs to go all the way over. There. Then we can turn it over. We can trim that off. And we've got one piece left to do. Alrighty. So then we need it from here. 
and we want it to butt up against this one. So right here and there. All right, so we need it to be about to here. So go ahead and put the glue on there. This is the easiest way I figured out how to do this. <laughs> you can cut layers. If, you, if you've got the die cuts and stuff, you can cut the layers so that way you're actually cutting out the center of the pink piece here instead of adding the instead of adding the white. So you'll see that in other videos where they're actually cutting the centers out. But I decided I'm going to do it so that because I know there's a lot of people that watch my videos that don't have all those supplies. They don't have the cutting machines or even punches sometimes. All right, so there we go. We have a faux shutter card or fractured card. Isn't that cool? And look at the difference, a one and a half inch square. This is a two inch square. This is a half inch wide paper scrap. This is an eighth of an inch wide paper scrap. Isn't that cool? At least I think this is an eighth of an inch, isn't it? I think so. It's a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. All right, so then all you have to do is just put something in the middle of the card. How easy is that? You can add a word if you want to add a word. Either way, you can decorate it whatever way you want to. All right, so let me pull this up so you can see this one. Isn't that neat looking? And here's the other one. Pretty nifty, huh? So this one I think just needs, I'm gonna finish decorating this one while, while I'm online here with you. So that way you can see. Alrighty, I think all I wanna do is add some words because I really don't wanna take away from that, that focal point right in the middle because that's what it's supposed to be about is, is the shutter. So let's see, how about just a word? And I have words. Where are they? Let's see, what are these words? Never give up, take the risk, do your best. Ooh, how about take risk? I like that. And that's a nice smaller one. I'll put it down in the corner here. There, and that's perfect. So now if, if you want to, you can add gems. Can certainly add gems to it. I'm using my finger now and I'm creasing that butterfly sticker down down onto the blue paper because it was overhanging just a little bit. So if you wanted to know what I was doing. I really like the way these look. That's really neat. Alrighty, so this one's done. That's pretty cool. And I can actually give, I can make more of these for the dementia patients because we can't have any any um, raised bling on them. So they've got to, it's got to be just paper or stickers. So, and nothing raised, so that's awesome. Very good. I'm gonna make more of these for the dementia patients over at the Senior Center. I like that idea. Alrighty, so I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And again, it's just a card. Your supplies is just a card, a front layer, a square. So I don't think I would go any, big, any bigger than a two inch square, because that is pretty big. So, but a two inch down to one inch, down to a one inch, that would be kind of cool. Or even, you know, maybe one and three quarters of an inch to go right between these two. And then anywhere from an eighth of an inch wide, your strips to go around up to half an inch. So, and that's all you need, just four, four pieces that size. All right, so I hope you do like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.